Okay, let's check your work and see how you did. Um, first of all, let's look and see what we have in our 100 grid right here. We know that this is the three column, but look, this is also the 30 row. All our numbers start with a three in the tens place. So they are 30s, right? Does that make sense? They're 30. And then what goes here? Oh, let's double check our column. 33. Let's see if that makes sense. These are all 30s. 31, 32, 33. Oh, that works, right? 34, 35. And when we are going down here, remember we're traveling by 10s. 2 10s, 3 10s, 4 10s. Oh, I like it. That makes sense. Did you get that one? That's awesome. Let's try another one here. Okay, this time I'm going to look at the tens column first. So I'm going to be traveling vertically on the 100 grid. 20, 30, up, oh, 40, 50, 60. That works. Okay, let me take a break. I have the tens column is a four. Now what goes in the ones column? Let's look. Oh, look at that. They're all twos. Uh-oh, what did I do? That's so funny that that did that. Let's straighten this out a little bit. There we go. Hope I'll make sure I fix that for you guys. There. 42. 41, 42, 43. Yep. 22, 32, 42, 52, 62. I like it. Okay, let's keep going across. 41, 42, 43. Oh, I'm going to widen this because I had that problem with the other one. I can just keep counting on for this one. I'm going to do that. Let's see what that looks like. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. It was, would have been hard to count on if I wouldn't have had this 42 here already, wouldn't it? But let's look. Our fours column, that's true, and our 40 row. <laughs> it's a 44, just like this was a 33, a 3, um, in the tens place and a three in the ones place. And this has a four in the tens place and a four in a ones place. Now, let's look. What is in the tens place here? Oh, look at this. We're in the fifties row. It's 50. And what's in the ones place? We're in the threes column. So it's a three. Aha, uh -huh, same problem. So silly. Okay, let's move it out. There we go. So now, let's see. 23, 33, 43, 53, 63. I like it. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. I like it. This matches up. Is this how you did yours? Go back and check your work. Make sure you're understanding how to fill in the missing numbers because now we're going to have a lot of fun with our next slides as we play some games finding the missing numbers.